Hey everybody, I'm Adam Harry with... I'm Abe. We're from Bellblast Souls, and today we have the brand new Kings of War 3rd Edition Ooh, rulebook. The Game of Fantasy Battles. Yes. This is actually a really nice rulebook. A mm -hmm. uh, little background. You're familiar with Kings of War? It's been out for, what, like 10 years? Yeah, 10 at least 10 years. Yeah. Uh, it's from a little game company in Nottingham called Mantic. Mm -hmm. uh, they're really cool guys. They have been working this this particular version of Kings of War for about two years, yeah. um, getting lots of fan feedback, uh, play testing, uh, just a ton of stuff uh, mm -hmm. to to perfect the game up up to this point. So uh, this is the brand new third edition book, and it's really good. It's really, I mean, it's thick. It's uh, like four hundred ish pages. We'll crack into it here. Yep. Uh, you can see actually ten years mantic right yeah, there. Yeah, very uh, cool. There's the back. Yeah, it's this book is actually everything you need to play Kings mm -hmm. of War aside from an army. Uh, yeah. Rules wise, it's got everything. Stuff like that. Table, yeah, yeah. tape measures, dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so. physical components. It's the <laughs> all yes. the rules you need for the game are right uh, here. Rules, army lists. Yeah. They actually signed it for us. Thanks, guys. They yeah, sent it to us. It's then. very cool. It's uh, yeah, good stuff. Kings of War. Here we go. Here's a quick intro. Uh, I'm trying to find. There we go. Table mm -hmm. of contents. I wanted to show this off. Again, everything you need to play rules wise yep. is in this book. Um, you've got about 60 pages, 70 pages of, of game rules here. Yep. And then we get into all of the different armies. And when I mean uh, all the different first armies... First we got about 150 pages of fluff. Yeah, oh, that's don't forget all, the lore. That's background, all the background lore. lore. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, and then you've got, yeah, 16 armies yeah. in the book. Um, and I mean, this is a work of love, clearly. And yeah. And that's come a long way. For sure. Uh, when Mantic started, you know, the game was pretty basic. Uh -huh. um, and you know it was it was a first edition game. Right? Yeah, it's like, functional, functional, not yeah. a ton of lore. Um, yeah, they had they've and, and since then they have added constantly. They've like, added a ton. I mean, they've I added was, armies. They've yeah, added lore. It was only like two or three factions when it first started. I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, and they've, you know, this feels like it's the game it was always meant to be in a lot of ways, and like yeah. it's it's arrived to a degree. This is a very I th yeah put together. Well, I think actually when Mantic uh, released the second edition of the game, mm -hmm. Kings of War 2.0, that was a really that solid. was a big that was, that was a big thing. That was yeah, a big definitely. deal. I, I feel like that was like the uh, we've made it in mm -hmm. terms of like when a game reaches its second edition. Second edition, yeah, that's a big deal. But this is like so like first edition is like I'm a new game on the block. Yeah, we've made we've, we've made a game. I'm here, and a lot of times sometimes they're really great. Sometimes you never get yeah. past that. But a lot of times there's obviously issues and stuff. Sure, work sure, out. sure. Second edition is like the teen years, right? For right. a lot of games, right? They're still kind of finding their place. Sure, sure. Uh, getting getting into where they wanted to be, um, and then like third edition, and you can look at us a lot of games. If you go back out there and look at them, yeah, you'll find that like third edition is really the where the identity spot. of the game yeah. comes together, and yeah. they're really a mature game at that game yeah. point. Um, and this is true of a lot of the big games out there. If you go yeah. and look at them, um, third edition. Yeah, I mean they worked really on this important. for two years. Yep. So. Uh, let's go ahead and keep going here. We're gonna we're not gonna go page to page, and we're not gonna do a how to play. But we're kind of here to show off the coolness of this book. It's got some wonderful art in it. Um, you can tell just the generational uh, uh, growth. Yeah, from definitely. the early armies to the mm -hmm. current armies. Uh, just the artwork and the miniatures, the paint jobs. Even. Paint jobs are great. Yeah, yeah there's a so, lot of really cool stuff. Yeah, uh, let's so keep going. If you're not familiar with uh, Kings of War at all, this is a rank and file. Mass combat uh, miniatures yep. war game. Um, it yep. is blocks of troops, um, large numbers of units that fight in you know the kind of standard square ranked up formations. Right. And it's um, nice too. They actually give you a conversion chart uh, for your uh, rank sizes and footprints and stuff right. like that. So if you want to build a really cool scenic base, you can do for the whole for the whole, the whole unit. unit yeah. You can do that. So you've got the footprint and the dimensions and stuff like that. Just uh, I think that's a nice touch. Yeah, that was one of the things that's always kind of interesting about the yeah. Mantic games is they didn't like. I remember uh, like the old editions, you don't really pull off models necessarily. Right. You just you keep you keep the, yeah. the look really cool. Uh, so I mean, here you've got uh, like movement interactions and stuff, yeah. line of sight, and you can. I mean, this is this is classic. Real, this is real classic, like rank yeah. and file stuff. And right? again, this is what we're showing. Like what I wanted to show off real fast was just mm -hmm. that you do have the arcs front side. Uh, 
uh, front flanks and the rear arc, obviously. And then uh, this is a rank and file game, so this is how you yeah. would move. This goes over all that. We're, again, we're not going to go through the rules, but you get yeah. the idea. It's but, very you know, well documented. It's very well documented. Very nice. Yeah. And you know, I, these are great diagrams, really well laid out. Also, yeah. I'll say. I mean, like these are clear. Look at that. Nice pictures. They're, they're easy to see. They're they're pleasing on the eyes. Yeah. Um, aesthetically, it's very well done. And while the Kings of War rules are their own, and yeah. definitely unique and cool. Uh, if you played mass combat in the system, like mass combat games before, yeah, this will be recognizable and familiar enough to you that you'll right. be like, oh, okay, this is what I want to play. This other, is what I'm looking for. Other fantasy style mass combat. Yeah, games. <laughs> yeah, other, yes. other fantasy battle games. Yes. Uh, keep on moving here. Again, it, it, this game has, it's a third edition, so they've added a lot to the rules. They've cleaned up a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to get into all this stuff, but right. like, look at those yeah, models. Yeah, those are great. Those are really good yeah. models. Really good paint jobs. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, um, it is very Melee-centric. Uh, here's some of the older models. There are war engines in the game, too, so Ballista, yep. Cannon, all that fun stuff. you got your you know, you know special rules and everything. Yep. It's not a ton of rule. I mean, it's a decent size. Yeah. Um, but it seems, if you've played more, a lot of more modern games, it's probably pretty big. It looks pretty big to you, perhaps, because right. some of the more modern games are very minimalistic and go sure. for, like, four eight pages of rules right and um, then they hide the rules but the then units. they hide the rules. Yeah. so these are much more <laughs> universal rules. style rules yeah exactly <laughs> uh and i mean even so you know 40-ish yeah. pages of rules and stuff now we're in army selection here already like 40 ish pages of that's not rules. bad it's not that bad especially we consider like the amount of art we've already seen the diagrams yep. and all this stuff i want to point out too this is a points based game if you're not familiar at all with it uh so there's different typical points limits for your games Mm -hmm. um, and you can play smaller games and stuff like that too. But uh, magic and magic selection, all this other stuff. Yeah, and look at they've yeah. got. I mean, I love that they've got. I don't know any really any game that's ever done this. That other than have. like D and D, but it's sure. Kind of mass but any, but any, I, I don't <laughs> yeah. know many of the like any any really of the war games that have actually gone and done art for every uh, item. That yeah. they have in their game. You know, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, it's a nice touch. Yeah, and it doesn't just list, oh, here are all these generic magical items you can buy kind of things. Right. It actually did art. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And some did. of these magical items do have uh, roots uh, within the lore, too, if you're familiar with the world. Yep. So, um, cool stuff there. What I wanted to get to next up was, aside from all the cool stuff, game mm -hmm. scenarios, yeah, all the stuff in here, everything. I wanted to get over to, again, background, tons of background lore. Yeah, so let's talk about that real quickly here. Nice picture. Big, yeah. big battle layout. Big battle so, going. Uh, we got a couple big spreads here in the middle. Yeah, look at um, that. This was one of the newer armies. Yeah. And These it, guys look red. Yeah, again, showing off how, how big some of their models are, right? Yeah, this is I one mean, of the Shadow Hulks, actually. Yeah. yeah. So they are, uh, you know, they are people who have big, big centerpiece models. Yeah. Um, back when they first started, you know, again, they were getting, you know, original, like, first line didn't have as many big things in it. Right. Which is pretty common, obviously, but... As they've grown, obviously the game has grown, the yeah. miniatures have scaled up. You could, you know, and, and your old miniatures still totally yeah. legit. So Panathor, I think they actually changed the name of the world. It used to be Mantica. It used to be Mantica, but it looks like they've changed it to Panathor. Yeah. Um, and beautiful maps and everything. And this is, again, a mark, I think, of kind of that later edition games you yeah. often see. Because a lot of times with unless it's based on an existing ip um when you see someone who comes out especially that's more than maybe a miniature focused art uh, company mm -hmm. um like mantica really was or mantica yeah. really was at first um the lore in a game you know takes a while to get going right right right, right. you have to take time to write it and come up with it and everything and it's really those and years, build the background build and, the background and everything yeah. and so even if you have lore in the first edition it's almost always going to be uh, thinner. Very, yeah, it's skeletal. It's, skeletal. it's like a, it's, right. a, it's the bones of the, yeah. of the lore. So, and this is really built up on that. Right, and that's really cool to see this big section of like 150 pages of of all the lore to really bring you into this world and make this be its unique thing. This is really, you know, you're playing this because you want to play in this setting exactly. with these rules. And, I mean, there's a ton, and yeah. we'll go through it, there's a ton of really beautiful uh, maps in this yeah. section. Like, look at see, this. Um, this is like historic. I don't even think. I don't even know if this is current or you know. <laughs> um, but like tons of maps, stuff to draw mm -hmm. you in, stuff to draw the eye in, and like look at this it's stuff. A great picture. Yeah. Cool backgrounds know, cool and stuff like that. Just great stuff all the way through. Uh, I'm gonna keep going because if we don't, yeah. we'll get wrapped we'll get up. Stuff. Going yeah, you got all you got, these cool. Uh, look at that. Yeah, this, look at this that. This is actually like city maps, right? Yeah. There's not a ton of games that even go in. Uh, Look at that. They're not kind of like big war games that are going to go into like here's a city map. Either we keep like I, again yeah. we can get wrapped up in here. Mm -hmm. What I want to show off, what I was trying to get to, was 
past the background sections. Here's a whole, here's look a whole at this dungeon. Yeah, that's, look at that. that's freaking awesome. Yeah. Uh, past all the backgrounds of all the different races and stuff like that. Uh, and then and you there's see, a, there's lot a lot of art, which is a really, lot of art. Yeah, lots of really art. great. Lots of races. We can skip ahead a little bit here. I want to show off the forces uh, of evil. Well, I think that's where it starts. Yeah. Again, tons of stuff here. Mm -hmm. This goes into the backgrounds still of the Empire of Dust, the Abyss, the Goblins. This is what I was trying to get to. Right. Is the army sections. Yeah. So okay. After we go through all that, again, lots of things. We go to army list. Now, again, what we were saying when, when I was saying earlier that this book has everything you need to play uh, rules-wise, this is what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Army list. For each one of the armies in the game, you on top of getting all the background in one book, in one spot, with awesome art and m miniatures, you get to see the background. You yeah. are, sorry, the, the, the rules for the miniatures. So this is really cool. You have uh, uh, the Basilians. They've yeah. got all of the infantry. And they do have more. I mean, there's more fluff in this section, too, yeah. right? They've got all the characters and information on them. So yep. it's not like this is just... It's not just rules. Just, not Yeah, not just a giant page. But, yeah, you get all the art yeah. rules you need to actually play. And, again, play. it's every single unit in the list mm -hmm. uh, currently. Um, right. Because they Mantic's really good about adding expansions and stuff like that yeah. to the game. So... Again, you had your infantry on the, the previous page, rain infantry, uh, cavalry, chariots, titans, heroes. Large you get the infantry, idea. Yeah. So it just it, all of that stuff is in here. And they're nice, quick you stat blocks. Abbas on a panther chariot. Bingo. That sounds pretty cool. Actually. It's a hero, man. Yeah. Uh, and, and then here are those yeah. new named characters and stuff. Too. It breaks down their stats for you, all that across the board, uh, named characters. And then you get the miniature section showing off all the miniatures for all of the different armies. And when I mean all of the different armies, I literally mean every single army yeah, in the game. There's 16 or so armies <laughs> in here. We'll skip over to uh, one of the newer armies. So there's Empire of Dust, uh, the Abyssal Dwarves. Which um, are kind of one of the classic armies, right? Yeah. The Abyssal uh, Dwarves have been around for a while. The Night Stalkers is what I was trying to get yeah. to. These guys. Those are goblins. But Those are goblins. Look at that thing. Look at that yeah. thing. Look at that. Come on. That's freaking awesome. That's cool. Here we go. This is one of the newer armies. This is the Night Stalkers. Uh, it's... It's... Abyssal horror, Cthulhu-ish type of yeah. uh, nightmares. And, and, I mean, that's another thing you often see with later edition games, and that's very true, I think, of... Uh, More Lovecrafty of, in the, Of this the game where it is, is that yeah. a lot of times the early... Sometimes the early editions are, and this was true of Mantis and or, yeah. of, of Kings of War, is that they were, you know, a little generic sometimes was, was a criticism people had. Sure. Uh, back in the past, you know, humans, goblins, elves... Yeah, we've seen these before, thing. yeah. yeah. Um, but... As games mature and they yep. go along, you really get them to like really come into their own, make their own feel, their Heck own yeah. aesthetic, and you have, and then you get stuff like this, which I think is really unique. And there aren't really armies like that, yeah, um, out there. I mean, this is a pretty, a pretty cool army. In a lot yeah, of this ways. is one of the newer ranges. You can tell, uh, again, just comparing the models from some of the earlier sculpts, they've greatly improved. They, they look fantastic now. If you mm -hmm. haven't gone through the Mantic range for Kings of War recently, you totally need to do it. Just Spend some time for yeah, that range because yeah. they have some really cool stuff now uh, on top. It's you know been ten years uh, that just keep growing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is a fantastic range. The paint jobs look amazing. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, even going back here, flipping through Force of the Abyss, things like that. I just I'm really impressed with the the changes and improvements they've made over time. Again, you don't get to make a third edition if you're if you're not doing something right. Right. Yeah. So definitely the fact that they've gone this far and made a third edition of the game. Um, yeah, it's really impressive. There's some undead generic stuff, uh, and this isn't this isn't all of it either. Uh, we've heard tales that uh, there may be more supplements on the way, but we're here to talk about third edition. Yeah, this book is great. So yeah, I mean, if you are really into mass combat, ranked combat, mm -hmm. fantasy games, uh, this will definitely scratch your itch. Heck yeah, uh, it's a really it's been a great system for ten years, and this yep. is the best version of it. It is. Um, I've heard a lot of great things about it. Yeah, uh, so. Go yeah, check it out. Definitely. Yeah. Anyway, I'm Adam Harry. I'm Abe. We're from Bella Souls. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.